The unvaccinated will be in lockdown until 2022. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian Heiser here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Grab your stein of evening coffee or probably a beer if you're watching this tonight. And, well, I want to talk about this latest clip from Daniel Andrews, the Premier of Victoria. And let's, let's look at this, uh, this clip now, everyone, before we go through a few statements. Nope, that's the wrong clip. Look at that. I'm like a real TV station. This clip here. Uh, to tell you the truth, I'm not 100% clear on what New South Wales' position is, uh, and that might be my fault rather than theirs. I can recall Gladys making some announcements about maybe five or six weeks after the vaccinated economy started, you would fold it up and it wouldn't be there anymore. I don't know whether Dominic has done the same thing. I, I, I honestly don't know the answer to that. That doesn't make any sense to me in any event, and we won't be doing that here. Like, why would you just get the system going? Why would you have the thing up and running and then essentially pull down that, uh, in, pull all that down, pull all the architecture that you built, all the infrastructure that you built, the culture that you've changed? Why would you change that four or five weeks later? We will not. Notice that? All the infrastructure, uh, infrastructure that they've built, the culture that they've built, they don't want to pull it down. They've invested too much into it. People have become accustomed to the current situation. You know what this means, everyone. I'll be doing that here. I'm not going to say to someone, oh, look, just wait us out, will you? Just, just, just wait four or five weeks, and then you'll be able to go to the pub. No. If you make the judgment to not get vaccinated, and you reckon you can wait out us or the publican or whoever you want to think you're waiting out, you won't wait out the virus because the virus will be here for a long time and your only protection against it is being vaccinated. This will be well into 2022, well and truly into 2022. Then we're going to get into booster issues, so it won't be your first and second dose. It'll be have you, have you, have you had your third? Remember when it was just two weeks to flatten the curve to take the edge off our medical establishment? Remember? seems like such a long time ago and then the other issue will be well who knows what uh, variants coming who who knows like we don't so we've got every reason to be confident we've got every reason to be optimistic and upbeat this is the victorians have done an amazing job but that job includes uh, uh, us making some difficult decisions and that's to keep people who are not vaccinated out of some of those venues that we've been talking about today so you can see here that there's going to be well, limited ability for unvaccinated people to take part in the rest of society, at least in Victoria, until 2022. You know what that means? They're going to have to have, you're going to have to identify yourself as having had your shots every time you go anywhere. I mean, people wonder why I'm not getting outraged. I'm not getting upset. I'm not ranting or angry about this. Everyone, we're living in, a, in mob rule. That's democracy. We already have so many mandates in our society here in Australia. We are not America. We don't have a liberty-focused culture here. We're a bunch of, you know, dibber-dobbers. A bunch of dibber-dobbers. You know, you want your neighbours to comply with all of the rules, do everything right. If you have to do something, oh, boy. You know, this is an, in some ways, this is another manifestation of the tall poppy syndrome. Cutting down those that dare not conform and i'm saying this as someone who's vaccinated i've gone and taken the shot i have to oh bugger now i'll only be a a a dirty original vaxxer by the time i get to go out i'll probably have to do you know need a booster pass or something (laughs) oh boy i can't put a date on it i i I cannot put a date on it but i can tell you this it will not be when we reach 90 percent it will not be you know Anytime soon, that's going, to, that's going to function for a period of time well into 2022. There's been reports that um, there's been thousands For instance, of... I'll give an example. The Grand Prix is in April. I don't think there's going to be crowds at the Grand Prix made up of people who have not been double-dosed. There you go, everyone. We'll just repeat that again. There's been reports that um, there's been thousands For instance, of... I'll give an example. The Grand Prix is in April. I don't think there's going to be crowds at the Grand Prix made up of people who have not been double-dosed. There you go. So, I mean, let's, before I go through some of these articles and these media releases, let's have a bit of a talk about this, guys. Because, well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. 
They can re- they will restrict access to people go to to go to particular ven- venues. Okay, they're doing that here in Queensland. They're going to allow certain venues to have capacity limits if they're taking the vaxxed and unvaxxed, and those that don't won't. So if you're only taking the vax, you won't have capacity limits. So they look at strategies to manage it. Other other countries are having you know mask mandates for only certain groups. So there, there's really going to be a way to identify and isolate particular groups of people. Now, if you can still leave the state, if you can still get out of Victoria, out of Melbourne, out of your country, I think people will jump at that opportunity. I think there'll be some people ideologically frustrated with what the government is mandating. But you've got to realise, everyone, Dan Andrews is still quite popular. There are a lot of people that are quite supportive of everything that's being put forward here. We had a look at, at results, poll results, where the majority of workers wanted their, well, their employers to have vaccine mandates put in place. So if you're, you're seeing all this stuff, watching the news, going, oh, I don't believe it. It can't be true. How many people have you talked to? Are you at danger of living in a social media information bubble? Because I've spo- spoken to lots of people across quite a variety of strata in society, and I'm not at all surprised that you're having this implemented, that you're having support for these mandates. People don't want freedom. People don't. Most of them don't. They want order and stability. And that's what they're getting. And sadly, they're willing to sacrifice a little bit of liberty for that. Sometimes that's a harsh lesson to learn. I am confident that there's still time to, well, to address the declining state of of liberty that we have here in Australia. I think more and more people are starting to get an interest and pay attention to what's happening. And they may be going along with it. They may be, you know, getting the jab, doing their, their stupid QR thing, but they're frustrated with it. They don't like the way the government's handled this. And we're going to see that manifest at the next polls, at the next election. I still think that, I, I believe, I honestly believe there is time to shift the Overton window and that the silver lining out of all of this will be a hopefully a mix of leaders that appreciate the value of individual rights and liberties of Australians. You've got more and more political opportunities now. You've got the libertarians kicked out of Parliament in Victoria. I think two libertarian, uh, two libertarians, and two other members. Okay, I mean that's going to get them attention. Some people don't even think they don't even realize they exist. They're reported in the news as the de facto opposition. So perhaps there's a you know I think there's a silver lining coming out of all of this. Because once next year rolls around, once you know, all of this COVID starts to disappear, once the majority of people have been vaccinated and life starts returning to normal, even for those that aren't or that can't, then we'll get a chance to have a say. And that's when people will have to remember. That's when if all Labor can, can, can come up with is, you know, you, bo- you boggered up the vaccine rollout. It didn't happen fast enough. I don't think that's going to be enough to flip voters. But I think there will be some that remember what their premiers did to them. What do you think? Anyway, let me know your thoughts and opinions on this one, everyone. And that's why I don't... Well, I mean, I try and take a stoic approach to life. So that's why you won't find me getting too upset or too overly emotional about all of this. Sadly, in some ways... I think it's just an extension of the mob rule we have here in Australia. I think the mob just needs to start to realise what they're sacrificing before it's too late. And hopefully, perhaps naively, but hopefully, there's still time. What do you reckon? As always, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe to the channel. If you enjoy the, con- enjoy the content I find and put together here, you can support us by signing up for our live channels on Twitch or YouTube Live. You can also support us by signing up for Self Wealth or Stake, using our affiliate links at Amazon, eBay, Independent Reserve, or Aussie Broadband, buying our merch from Heiser Says, using Gold Pass from the Perth Mint, or supporting us via PayPal. Take care. Have a great day.
I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.